Hi guys, Jill here, and I just wanted to give you a very quick tip. Um, sorry, I'm a little disorganized. I just got the dogs to go outside, so there wasn't going to be barking. Um, can't guarantee no cats, because they always think I'm talking to them. Anyway, um, like everybody else, I am in love with the Wink of Stella Clear. I guess it's called a marker. Um, it's got the reservoir filled up with this sparkly goodness and um, then it's situated very much like a water brush. Um, here's a water brush. This one is a fine tip and um, the water brushes they come clear they come in all different kinds of colors. So I saw a tip um, that Sarah Elliott had shown where her marker ran out and so she put some water in the reservoir and got another use out of it and that's great and um, then I got to thinking well I've got to have something similar around my craft room I think we all do and so I tested out a bunch of things so that when this goes empty and the second use is done I can fill this back up because it's really quite simple with these sorry I'm unscrewing the wrong part this unscrews and then you can pull this little piece off and fill it. So, um, here's what I came up with. I tried everything in my stamp room. At first I thought it was going to be perfect pearls. Um, made perfect sense to me. I tried a few, and I tried a few of the mists as well as the mica. And um, I found that they kind of left a little bit of a white issue to them. And then I dug through my paints. <clears throat> I got out my pearlescent medium, which is made by all of the main art companies, as well as there is a pearlizing medium that you can buy, like with the Americana and Craft Smart paints um, at the big box stores. So I tried the pearlescent, and it has something else in it that made it kind of um, hazy. So what I came up with that I think is the perfect mix is the all-purpose ink, and this is for the Fantastics, which is um, some little paint. They're kind of like this. Um, they have a tip on them that you can use to color. And um, this is made by Sukaneko. And these were sold through Stampin' Up! And um, I got a few of each because I absolutely adored both of them. Uh, we made um, sh the Shimmer Mist with them. There's the Champagne and the Frost White. Champagne was by far my favorite. And you just combine it with alcohol and it makes a mist for you. And I put um, a ball in there from something else to stir it. So anyway, um, what I did really simple. These, again, have a ball in it. That's what I did. I put the ball from the one that I used up. So you shake it. Sorry if I made you dizzy there. And you open it, and just off of the top, you pull a teeny bit out with a water brush. Or, again, once it comes time, um, put it in your pen. And this one I used a lot of water with. This one I used very little water. And that one I thought was too dark. And then that's the Wink of Stella. And it's really hard to see, but they are practically identical. Over a colored image, they are identical. So, Stampin' Up! stopped carrying these. So everybody's saying, well, where do I find those? Um, I actually saw these at Joann's. And they are a two-pack these two colors. I'm not positive of the price, um, but I think it was like $10, and with the coupon that's $6, which is a decent price for these. They last a really long time. They're in a two-pack. I saw them two different places. One time I saw them in the stamping section at a store in Orlando, and then I saw them in the t-shirt section. So, um, look for these. They're really good inks. So there's my tip for you. Um, sorry, quick little video, almost five minutes. But there you have it. There is your dupe of the Wink of Stella Clear Brush. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.